everyone. Uh, my name is Ijama. Welcome to our kitchen again. So today we will be making begiri. Hmm. That's a very, um, a, a very, very lovely Yoruba delicacy. So begiri. And so we're going to show you how to make begiri soup. It's very nice and then it comes in highly recommended. So watch through the process. We'll be right back when we're done. Okay. So now we have the blended beans. Okay, some of the ingredients that we're going to be using for the gregory are the palm oil, the pomo. Pomo is actually called what? beef skin. Then we have meat and stock in the water. And then of course inside the pot, we have our blended beans. Remember I showed you the process of getting these beans ready to this point. So our light is on and we're starting now to make the gregory soup. Okay. Okay, cool. You can no, hear I'm your voice. Yes. Yeah. Right. All right. So, yeah, that's it. That's the beans, blended beans in the water. So, um, the beans are already on fire now. Mm -hmm. So we add pepper to it. Okay. So we add pepper in the beans. The quantity of pepper you add depends on the quantity of um, beans. beans you okay. Cook. Yeah. So and for those that like um, their own soup to be peppery, so you can add as much as you want. As much as you want. Okay. <coughs> so after that, you slice your onion. So after sliding the pomo, we also add it to it and stir. Do you want some salt? Yes. Sorry. Right there. Yeah, that's salt. Wow. Do you need crayfish? No, okay. Okay. So we're adding some salt to it. Yep. So then you stay. Okay. So yeah, for the salt and the maybe you add it to bring it into the soup. Yes. Okay. Do you need the meat stock? No, it's okay. this this is okay. 
You're not going to put the stock? No. Okay, that's fine. I'm burning. So the thing about it is, it's actually not good to prepare it in that quantity because it loses its real taste after just one meal. Oh, okay. So okay. it's always good if you just prepare it, maybe you just take it once and you oh. get it. And, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. So, it's so not you can't like, like put it. Yeah, you can't put it like in the freezer and uh, be warming it every day if no, you want no, to eat no, it. It's going to oh. spoil the content of the soup itself. Uh, okay. So then you cover it so that the beans will steam together with the meat and areas that we've added. Oh, okay. So we wait after some time we are going to add our oil. Okay. It's the last thing we add to it okay. for this result. Okay, like how many minutes how many minutes so are we gonna steam it for now? Ten minutes? Uh yes, let's say ten minutes. About ten minutes. So we'll steam it for about ten minutes and we'll be right back to show you how to go ahead with making the bread givey soup. Okay, so we're back. Let's check up on our gregiri, our gregiri soup. Our gregiri soup has boiled for about 15 minutes. So let's turn on the fire so it's not too much. Okay. Yeah. So we have, we have the stock, no? Alright, so yes, we're continuing with the veggie soup. So you right can now, see. it's so obvious that the veggie is done. Okay. As you can see, before we open the pot, it already stained the sides of the pot. Okay. But now, nothing is going to be silent very much. So that means the veggie is done already now. Okay. So we add our palm oil to give it a very beautiful look now. Okay. Just the two palm oil. Just to change the face of the soup now okay. to give it the proper soup look. So after this, we just cover it for like two, three minutes, and then we turn down the fire and the bed is ready to be served. Okay, that's fine. So we'll call right now and yes. leave it for about three minutes. Two, three minutes. Two, three minutes. And then yeah. we'll come right back and then we'll show you what it looks like. So let's cover it now and cook it for like three minutes. Okay, well done. So we should just cover it for two, three minutes yeah. and then the soup is done. Yeah. And I guess it's almost three minutes already. So you see it together and um, here you have your bread. Yeah, bread soup. Wow, that looks really yum. Wow, nice. Thank you so much. So that's how to make your bread with soup. Um, do you want to just talk us, like, do a little summary on the process? Okay, at uh, first you peel your beans. Yep. After peeling the beans, you, you remove the dirt. Those are the back of the beans now. Yeah. Then after that, you you put the beans on fire, slice some onions, slice onion, and um, you add a little salt, yeah. then you cook. In the situation where you have access to, you will call it corn. So you add a little corn, so it will hasten the... Corn is potash. Yes. Potash. Well, yeah. Yeah, it will hasten Can you the... put the other one? No. No. It has no, to be corn. corn. That's potash. Okay. So, so the reason why we are putting corn, it's not if we don't put corn, the thing will get done. But the reason why we are putting corn is for it to hasten the um, fast, uh, fastness of the beans. food. Of the beans. Okay. So after that is done, we add pepper. After adding our pepper, we add our sauteed mormon meat and whatever it is we want to, we would like to put in it. Then after that, we cover it for some time, for about 10 minutes, and then we add our palm oil. Then we cover it for about 2-3 minutes and our veggie is done. Wow, fantastic. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make veggie soup. And thank you for dropping by on the website to see how the veggie soup is made. We look forward to seeing you soon. And um, by the way, we'll come back and show you how to serve this soup properly maybe with amala or semo with a widow of course or ila so we'll see you shortly